you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find the problem? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? What's going on everybody? Just a quick little video because I just got done overclocking my Intel i5 2500K Sandy Bridge from 3.3 GHz to 4.5 GHz. Overclocking is increasing the clock speed to get better performance because we all know that clock speed in a CPU is very relevant. Anybody who tells you otherwise does not know what they're talking about. So we've increased the clock speed by 1.2 GHz on this processor and the results are fairly good. Very stable, 100% stable, in my opinion anyway, from my experience with it. And what you want to do with this is, you want to go into your BIOS and do all that, but before we get into that, we'll talk about how you do this real quick. First things first, you need an aftermarket cooler. Your stock cooler that comes with at least the CPU and the i5-2500K will not cut it, but a $20 Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus will get the job done. I picked up a second fan, as you can see this only has one right here. I picked up a second fan, hooked up to a push-pull configuration, and I can't say anything, but the results are very good. Now how you achieve this, I'm not going to go throughout all the intricacies and everything about it, but if you go to GLHF Computers, for me anyway, I have an i5-2500K and I do have the Asus P8-P67 motherboard. So really, all I had to do was follow his instructions from A to Z and I got a nice and stable overclock. Now I'm going to minimize this real quick. As you can see, all the temperatures and voltages are nice and safe. The fans are running a little bit higher than what they originally were at stock speed. They're running louder than what they were. So yeah, the fan is louder. So if the fan speed is going to bother you, the noise is going to bother you, then maybe you might want to set it to where you can have it variable to whether your CPU is being used or not. Me, myself, I'm having them turn the max settings all day, every day, like Mr. No Day is off there and young. But moving down here to the CPU-Z, you can see it is a 4.5 GHz, as the specifications for the stock speed are a 3.3 GHz. So currently, you know, we are running at 25%, really don't know why, but I do like overclocking. It is nice, it is pretty simplistic, it is pretty easy. 4.5 on air is really not going to cause you any trouble. It is not dangerous by any means as long as you're using an aftermarket cooler. Now if you wanted to go to 5 gigahertz or something like that I would definitely recommend liquid cooling. Now as you can see it'll fluctuate between 4.5 and 1.6 because I have it set up so if I'm not really using the computer you know it'll lay back. No need to run the full power if you're not going to use it but we can activate Prime 95 real quick stress test it, whatever. And as you can see, the CPU usage will bolt right up to 100 because it's what you use to stress test your computer and things like that. And right away, we can see the core speed will increase right up to 4.5 and that's pretty much what it will do and what it will stay at if I'm playing a game, rendering a video, if I'm needing to use the power. Otherwise, you know, we'll stop the test real quick. We'll end it. CPU usage will drop and plummet right down. And pretty much when this bad boy cools down, it'll go back down to the 1.6 right there, as you can see. So, overclocking is good, people. It is a good way to get, you know, extra mileage, extra money out of your components, you know, without having to upgrade, without having to spend money. I mean, unless you factor in buying a cooler, an aftermarket cooler money. But just something I wanted to share with you guys. If it's something you like, it's something you want to be knowledgeable about, you can go out and find it. If not, it is what it is. Take it easy. Never low, low, no way we go, go, like we supposed to go, go, I always keep one row, I keep one row.